This is Starry. She's a 24-year-old horse. She's in semi-retirement, but before she packs it in, she's helping out at the summer camp. The campers are learning about the gastrointestinal tract of horses. In that regard, they are painting the areas of the body and the organs that are represented on Starry's coat. And then it's the small intestine next. Okay, we... 18 kids between the ages of 5 and 13 share an affinity for animals. Not just Starry, but they get to listen to the heartbeat of bunnies in this camp session. This is loud. <laughs> Camp founders are hoping this connection with animals can lead them to embrace STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Someone needs to be able to engineer a barn that makes airflow successful, so that way horses don't get respiratory problems. Someone needs to have the proper technology to build a treadmill to make a really efficient treadmill for racing horses that they can exercise and recover on. Who will those people be? 12-year-old Carson Height has a deep interest in science and he knows exactly what direction he will go. Honestly, I want to be a marine biologist, so I just want to study animals' behavior first. So you want to put your left foot in the stirrup? At a horse camp, of course, at some point you get to ride the horses. That's good because not everyone is going to be all in on the STEM message. 12-year-old Ava Hancock has her own agenda. I'm learning how to care for others on the horses and with if they're on them and they're scared then we're learning how to calm the riders down and how to calm the horses down. I need to scoop the poop up. Let's pretend. The camper's day is filled non-stop with activity. There's no way to stem the tide. Next week is the final week for the camp. If you're wondering, there's still some slots available. In Rusheville, Derek Thomas. RTV6.